Hi everyone, I'm going to talk about a fantastic new feature in the Azure Virtual Desktop Management Portal called Custom Image Templates, which helps to simplify the creation and updating of golden images. So let's dive straight in and I'll demo the feature and give a bit of a view behind the scenes. Okay, we're in the portal. Let's go to the Azure Virtual Desktop Management plane by clicking on the button. You'll see a new menu item under Manage called Custom Image Templates. Let's go in there and check out the new feature. As you can see in the description, Custom Image Templates uses Azure Image Builder to orchestrate the build and creation of custom images. If you've ever tried to use Azure Image Builder, although extremely powerful, it can be quite difficult to set up. Custom Image Templates simplifies this process. As a service uses Image Builder, there are a couple of prerequisites that need to be in place for the system to work. Let's set those up now. The first of those is a user managed identity. Click Create, select a resource group, select the region, in my case UK South. Let me just type that in. Give it a name. I'm going to use AVD Image Builder and then click on Review and Create. Now that that's deployed, let's go into the role. As you can see in Azure role assignments, there aren't any roles assigned to this identity yet. We're going to need to do that. It's good practice to use least privilege and Microsoft makes recommendations on RBAC roles for this service in the image builder documentation. I'll pop a link in the description. Scrolling down the page, you will see a PowerShell example that creates the roles required to distribute the source custom image. You'll just need to change the subscription ID, the resource group and the identity name. OK, let's do that in the portal now. Now that that's completed, let's configure the networking. There are two options with networking. Either Image Builder can create a new network or you can use an existing network. We will use an existing network. Because the service uses private link when using an existing virtual network, we need to make sure that the private service policy is disabled on the subnet. In my case, they're not enabled, but if you're using private endpoints with network security groups and root tables, this is something to bear in mind. Right, back to the custom image templates portal. We click on add a custom image. I'm going to give it the template a name. We're not going to import from an existing template. We're going to change the resource group and then set a location, again UK South. And then we're going to add the managed identity. This is the one we created earlier. Click next to proceed. And I'm going to use a marketplace image for now. We're going to select, uh, let's select Windows 11 with Microsoft 365 apps. And I mean, you, you can actually select different types. So you can have a managed image or a shared image. Right, let's click next. And then we're going to use a, an Azure Compute Gallery. Now I've already created a, a Compute Gallery, so I'm going to select that one. 
and a definition which I'd already created. If you haven't got one, then obviously create one beforehand. And then we're going to give it a version. So I'm just going to give this one, say, 11.00 and give it a run output name. Now, this is the name of the script that's running. So I'm going to call it image build. I'm going to exclude it from the latest and click next. We can set the timeout limit for the build, the size of the machine to build with. Now, if it's a bigger machine, then it takes less time to build. You can select a staging resource group, and here we're going to select our virtual network and subnet. Click next, and this is where the magic really happens. This is where we create our customizations. So you can add your own scripts. Now you need a script name and a URI. This can be GitHub or anywhere you can find that script. Or we can use the built-in scripts. Now these are really fantastic. So where we can install language packs, for example. So I'm going to add, let's say, uh, well, UK English. And I'm going to set the default OS. We're going to set that to the same. So there we go. And our time zone. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to also configure RDP short path automatically. And I'm going to do time mode zone redirection and apply Windows updates. And there you see a list of all the scripts. This is what will run as part of the build process. Let's click next and we can add some tags. Let's click next and then hit create. Okay, that seems to be done. Well, let's hit refresh ah, and then let's start the build. Let's just hit refresh again and we can see now that that image build status is running. Okay, let's look behind the scenes what's going on. We'll open up virtual machines. And here you can see there's an AIB proxy that's been created. So we'll go and go into that. Now what this AIB proxy does is to allow internet access for the virtual machine during the build process. The VM image builder service uses the proxy VM to send commands between the service and the build VM. It's a very small Linux standard A1 V2 machine. After a short period of time, you can also see that the build machine has been created. Just going to enable boot diagnostics, just so you can see the machine is booting up. Right, it's in now, so I'm going to reset the password so I can get to the desktop. Right, I've sped that process up, but let's connect now via Bastion. That's typical. As I connect, it's just about to reboot. That's good, we're back in now. I'm going to open a command prompt up. Running netstat minus A, I can see the proxy VM forwarding commands to the build VM using port 5986. And in Task Manager, I can see that Windows Update is in progress. As you can see, the machine has forcibly closed the connection. This probably means that it's doing a sysprep. 
the machine is deallocating. Let's just refresh. Oh, and it's now been deleted. As you can see, if we just refresh that, the machine's gone. Back to the compute gallery. Let's have a look inside and go to the image definition. You'll see it's creating and the replication status is in progress. Back into the custom image templates portal and you'll see the image build status is still running. So let's give it a few minutes. And there we have it, success. We can now use this template to create Azure Virtual Desktop Session Hosts.